Dr. Drew inquiring with the TFAT K boys as to whether they've visited Joe Rogan's comedy mothership. And of course they haven't. But in this exchange, we do get some very interesting information that we weren't privy to. Number one, Rinks, old rape master himself, has been booked in to perform at the Comedy Mothership sometime in August. And judging by Brendan Schub's reaction from the question from Dr. Drew, Brendan hasn't been invited and isn't due to get invited anytime soon. That's the interesting development I saw from that little exchange. Everything. Yeah, I think yeah. so. Hustling. <laughs> hustling. Hustling on the road, doing stand-up. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, just Podcast. hustling through it's this crazy world. Have you been to Rogan's new place? In, uh, he just in, he just called me and Austin. asked me to come and do a weekend there. People love That's it. Good. So yeah, oh, the comedians yeah. love it more than anybody. Have you been? <laughs> that was amazing. The first thing to give them credit for, it looks like Brian and Brendan had a conversation. So... Brent, Brian's offer from Rogan to go and perform there, it wasn't like he found out about it on the show. Brian told R Brendan, hey, I'm going to be performing there, probably to let him down easy. But it's hilarious, the reaction. Brendan's face is fucking golden in this one. Everything. Yeah. I think yeah. so. Hustling. <laughs> hustling. Hustling on the road, doing stand-up. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, just Podcast. hustling it's through this golden crazy age. world. Have you been to Rogan's new place? And, uh, he just... <laughs> It's like an involuntary, like, oh, sadness. He just... And to me, this is the clearest indication we've ever seen, and I believe so, that my theory that their relationship has never been the same again ever since that bald guy slanging dick comment. In my opinion, their relationship has never recovered from that comment. Bald guy slanging dick comment fucked it up, and the final cherry in the cake, ironically enough, the Bobby Lee Kalila saga that also made things a bit untenable because I think that was a one revelation. I think we spoke about already on stream before with some of you guys on stream chat. I think that was Joe Rogan's revelation because I think he's really is in his own world. He definitely realized at that moment, oh, these fucking fucks are using my name to like intimidate other people. He didn't know that before. I'm pretty sure he didn't. It was all done kind of like hush hushy behind closed doors. If you say something, I'm going to fuck you up type of thing. And then he found out in real time, what they're doing what with my name? They're saying what? He's like, okay, fuck this. And then he moved and he hasn't looked back ever since. That's what I think has happened in this respect, personally for me. Because I feel like the Rogan of old, even if he does think, because I, I I think, you know, we, we've got evidence of it because I remember episodes of Brendan Go and JRE just after he dropped You'd Be Surprised and after he dropped, you know, um, you know what's it called? Uh, Gringo Pappy. That Rogan doesn't think he's funny because he doesn't really compliment him on his stand-up. He doesn't say, oh, you're really good. Duh, 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 duh. He just supports him as a friend. So I think the Rogan of before would have booked him at the Comedy Mothership just because he's his friend. But now because of all that stuff that's happened in between, he can separate the friendship a little bit and judge him a bit, a little bit objectively and say, hey, you're just not cutting it to be on stage in my club. And if I put you up there, it's going to set a bad precedent that I just book anybody as long as they're my friend, it doesn't matter if they're good or not. But for sure, this is the clearest indication. This little, you know, micro reaction he did was a clear indication of, you know, clearest indication we've seen that their relationship isn't the same because usually Brendan is the first one to run to tell somebody him and Rogan are friends I text every day he fucking loves proving to everybody that he's friends with Rogan and in this instance he immediately turned to Brian and said no Brian save me let's go again everything yeah I think yeah. so hustling <laughs> Hustling, hustling on the road, doing stand up. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, just Podcast. hustling through this crazy age. world. Have you been to Rogan's new place? And uh, he just in, he just called me and Austin. asked me to come and do a weekend. There. People love That's it. Good. So yeah, oh, those comedians <laughs> love it more than anybody. Have you been? I've not been. We'll be. We go there all the time to do your mom's house. We do it in Austin, and I'm going to go next time we're down there. Yeah, yeah. Um, if you you go there and you're sold out for the it. weekend, no matter what. Like, it's yeah, just, I mean. I, by the way, I hate that comment at the end there. I'm not going to lie. That comment at the end really pissed me off because again, it's another example as to most of these comedians, weirdly enough, this is weird to say because this probably doesn't make any sense, but I think a lot of these people don't even like Joe. They legitimately use him for the clout. And because a lot of them complain these days, I've heard a few of them complain that they've gone on Joe Rogan and they haven't got as many followers as they did the first time they went. They didn't sell as many tickets. They legitimately only really like are friends with him because of who he is. They actually don't really give a fuck about the guy, <laughs> which is really funny because those other guys aren't really worth much anyway. Do you know what I mean? They're not the ones really putting their neck on the line and doing that show. Do you know? Like, <laughs> that's the funny thing. And the first thing that Brian mentioned, not, oh, it's going to be good to get in front of an audience, in front of Rogan's crowd. I've got some really good material I'm working on. No, 
he mentions if you go there, it's going to sell out every weekend just because you're going there. It's like, come on, bro. Yeah. Um, if you, you go there and you're sold out for the it. weekend, no matter what. Like, it's yeah, I mean, just, I get, of course, it's the one thing. But again, I don't blame him either because the, the you know, the niggas playing, the niggas paying like 25 grand or was it 20 grand a month or something in alimony? He's got to make his money somehow, you know, like money has to be made. He can't be relying on fucking CIA daddy for the rest of his life. He needs to kind of make his own way. So that makes a lot of sense. But again, if you're Rogan, it's got to be a bit of a bummer. You know what I mean? Like no one's really your friend, really. Especially if they're comics because they either want to play at your club or they want to come on your podcast so they can fling more shitty fucking, um, tickets for their shows he, he sold out so like much. nine months good everything but yeah um <laughs> brenda's <laughs> it's just funny though because he spent that's a, this is the thing that's funny big for me because i feel like he spent too much time trying to be rogan's friend no sucking up to rogan and and being happy and kind of showing off the fact that he's in the inner circle and didn't spend enough time just doing the work because now Rogan's changed his approach to friendships and shit and now he's left out there in the lurch and I have to be honest I kind of feel bad for the guy I'm not gonna lie as as that comedy bit says that I posted on my flipping channel that somebody made you know Rogan made him quit UFC to pursue stand-up then he goes and does stand-up and then Rogan won't book him to at his new club I'd be pissed if I was Rogan Brendan I'd be so angry I'd be so mad like legit he invites you on his show all the time you're the fucking number one guest on there with the most appearances blah 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 and then he doesn't let you perform come on like what you know what i mean like i wouldn't have that i'll be so annoyed like it's, it's he doesn't stock your whiskey even though texas is your biggest market and also he won't let you perform at his club cold world cold cold world